Okay, you have kids of all different ages at home and you're supposed to be homeschooling them. But you've got a sixth grader who needs to learn sixth grade history and a first grader who needs to learn first grade history. How do you bring it together without pulling your hair out? I mean, really? This is If Mom Ain't Happy with The One Room Schoolhouse. I'm going to show you a simple activity that we did for phonics that covers my three grade levels. So I have one child who's reading on a third or fourth grade level, I have one child who is on a kindergarten level, and I have one child who's on a preschool level. Now in the traditional schooling model, there's no way to put all those kids in a classroom and have them all learn what they need to learn. But today, there is a way, and I'm going to show you. We are about to do a phonics activity, one room schoolhouse style, that covers all of their needs. All right, everybody stand up. Catherine, you're right here. Elijah, you're right here. Stanley, you're right here. So this is something the five-year-old should know or should be learning. Elijah, what's this letter say? Um, Good job, move forward one block. Two blocks. Selah, what's this one say? Mommy. K is for kangaroo. Kangaroo. Good. Move forward one. So now it's the six-year-old's turn, and we're going to do a little more complicated uh, activity here. Um, these cards are a little more complicated phonics sound. These cards are from the curriculum called Spelling to Write and Read. Um, and they do a fantastic job, this curriculum. Uh, the concept is teach the kids the sounds that all the letters say and then they'll learn to read and spell from those sounds. So there's only a certain, there's a limited number, as many as uh, irregularities as we think the English language has, there's actually only a certain number of sounds. And so this curriculum teaches the kids all the sounds and all the rules for all the irregularities so that they learn to read as they're learning to spell. So we're using those cards today. All right, Catherine, this, these letters say three things. What do they say? Very close. You do get to move forward because you got one of the sounds right. It says ooh, uh, oh. Ooh, uh, oh. Can you say that? Say ooh, uh, oh. Ooh, uh, oh. Good job. All right, Elijah. Oh. Yep. All right, Sayla. Well, then just repeat after me. Say woo. All right, Catherine. Oh. Try again, actually. You're really close. Oh. It says, oh, ooh, uff, off, ah, and ow. Say, oh, ooh, uff. Oh, ooh, uff. Here we go. Egg, night, like night. Yes, it says, I. I. Very good, I. All right, Elijah. Ah. Sayla, say, ah. Good job. Hey, Catherine. Uh, no, you're close. Since I got that one. Very close. That's new. Okay. It says, ooh. ooh. Good. R. Good. A. Good. It can say two more things as well. It can say A, E, E, and it. A, E, F, and it. Or it can say A and E. That's what it says. Like, heck. Hey. Say A and E. One, like hey. Like hey, One. you're right. Say J. J. Good job. All right, Mommy. Catherine. Oi. Good job. Oi. Nope, we did A. We didn't do Oi. Not right now. Hey. All right, Elijah, what does it say? Ooh. Y is for <laughs> What? Y is for yellow. Yeah, yeah, yellow. So this one says. Okay, so Elijah, it says yeah, eh, I. Yeah, eh, I. Good. Yeah. Say love. Say love. Say yeah, eh, I. Yeah, eh, I. Good job. Catherine, what does this one say? Oh, I thought I had way more. What does this one say? 
<laughs> it can say O oh, or it can say ow. Say ow, O. Oh. Ow, O. Oh. Good job. Oh. Elijah, this is your last one. Eh. Good job. I won. Say, let's say F. Eh. Eh. Look at the card. Say F. Eh. Eh. Good job. Um, oh, oh, Elijah, it can also say E. E. Eh. All right, Catherine, last one. Let's see. Ed. Yep, it can say ed or d or t. Ed d t. Ed d t. Ed d t. This is going to save you lots of time, lots of stress, and make your homeschooling way more fun when you can use one activity to teach your children on all different levels.